Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 31st of January 2019. I'm using the Toth Tarot for today's reading. So let's see what the energy of Thursday the 31st is about. So I tune into the cards and I ask them what is the energy of Thursday the 31st and the cards then give me a very detailed answer. So these readings are for all signs of the zodiac, for everyone who watches. Let's have a look at what is coming up. We've got the five of wands in reverse, the moon in reverse, and love in reverse. So whenever I have three cards in reverse, I read them both ways around. And what we're getting today is love, the two of cups, there's a great potential and a great energy of love in the air. We've got Venus, the planet of love and romance. Cancer, which is about nurturing each other and taking care of each other. And we've got these two cups overflowing with positive, loving feelings. So there's an opportunity to find someone who wants to take care of you and you finding someone you want to take care of and to fall in love. The only thing that may be stopping you from discovering that is fear. The moon is a card that re represents fear of the unknown. So we've got this scarab beetle underground and these underground hills and unseen formations. Above ground, we've got these scary gods and um, towers that make you feel small and you are trying to walk along this path which is hidden and scary so the advice here is not to let yourself be scared but to love and to face your fear and do it anyway as Susan Jeffers would say and that's going to cause some strife and conflict in your life we've got Saturn here which is structure and security and we've got Leo, which is fire and passion. So by facing your fears, you will meet something or someone that you love that's going to completely throw your daily routine up in the air and is going to completely twist it around and turn it around, causing you some strife, but it's because there's huge passion involved. So don't be afraid of changing the circumstances on you, of your life because something comes in that replaces your circumstances and shakes things up through love and through something positive. Earth signs particularly don't like change. But even if you don't like change, be willing to make alterations to your life to allow love in. It's the best thing that you can have in your life. So let's see what the cards mean in reverse as they came out initially. So if you have no strife or no conflict, trivial conflict with anybody today, you're not going to be scared. You're going to be empowered because you're not going anywhere. You're not staying. You're not leaving your comfort zone and you won't discover love. You'll simply stay put going to be a very quiet banal kind of day where you don't really learn very much you just see yourself as empowered and safe and comfortable and nothing new comes into your life nothing changes nothing turns things upside down things aren't topsy-turvy and scary and changeable and it's just a simple day where things go your way and you can communicate easily, you can do your work, maintain the structures of your life, and really just get on with things as you usually do. So you've got a choice here today. You can either use the safe route and live the, the, the safe kind of um, day that you want. And for some people, that's fair enough. Some people won't want to 
have love in their life. Some people will won't be ready. Maybe um, you've just come out of a relationship and you want some peace and quiet or um, you're not ready for a new relationship. You really want to work on yourself a little bit. Then you can really choose to have a very quiet day and keep to yourself. If you are ready for love and if you do want to experience this intertwining of souls and sharing yourself with another person, then the energy is there. It will create conflict and strife in your life and you have to step out of your comfort zone and explore new areas. So maybe do the public speaking that you've been so scared of or go to the continued prof professional development seminar that you didn't want to go to or go to the dance class in the evening that you were so scared and reluctant to go to or join the um join a language school if you've always wanted to learn french but again you've been scared of doing that then go out into the real world and sign up for the french course the moon is about moving forward in the real world and that then is going to cause upset saturn is going to be shock and passion is going to come in and your life is the trivial structures of your life are going to be upset the five of wands is trivial kind of conflict when you look at the five of swords that's serious conflict okay so this is trivial and um, trivial matters will be kind of upended but you have this potential to really find passion and excitement in your life. So you have a wonderful choice today, which is great. Let's look at what the cards are saying number-wise. We've got 15, that's 18. 18 and 2 is 20. 20 and 5 is 25. 2 and 5 is 7. 7 is about mind and creativity. So you get to decide what you want. Either I, my mind is telling me I want a quiet day, being in my comfort zone where I can heal and where I can keep my secrets to myself and I can just get on with things. Or my mind is telling me that I'm ready for some excitement, something unexpected, and I'm strong enough to face a little bit of uh, drama or a conflict with other people by going out into the world and really experiencing something amazing. So you have total control over the day, which doesn't always happen, and you get to decide what you want to achieve. And if you do face your fears, the gift of love is one of the most wonderful and beautiful gifts that you can possibly receive. And also, if you need quiet time just for you to heal that's also a wonderful blessing to have that quiet space and that quiet time for yourself so you can you can rest and kind of have that inner peace for yourself so either way i hope you have a wonderful day if you would like a private reading with me please get in touch via my website it's gregoryscott.com click on the readings tab to order your reading in my personal readings, I use the tarot, I use astrology and numerology. The way I just combine the numbers with the cards, I combine all three divination systems. And I'm also an intuitive reader, an intuitive astrologer. So when I interpret the symbols to the best of my ability, I get messages from spirits as well. And I include those in my readings. It's through the divination tools that I am able to open the doorway into my intuition because I'm a quadruple earth sign and that's the way it works for me. So the astrology charts I draw up by using your place of birth, date of birth and time of birth. If you don't have the time of birth, please order a chart rectification with me, which you can do on the website. Um, that means I work out your time of birth by using certain facts that you send me and then I can draw up the charts. Once I have the information i am able to draw up a snapshot of the sky at the moment you were born it's a blueprint of your soul it shows me what your vocational aptitudes are where you've been in past lifetimes what your life purpose is this time around 
what's destined for you in love and health and career and progress and education and moving and travel and um, spiritual connection and personal development and money and really anything you can think of. I can answer any questions you may have and I can also look at horoscope compatibility if you're not sure about a certain person in your life. I can put your horoscopes together and see where you really support each other and where things may not fit and may not work exactly. So if you're interested in any of that, then please visit the website gregoryscott.com or do your reading with me. Have a great day.